Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 466 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Bitcoin has continued its rally riding high off an announcement that PayPal is introducing crypto adoption. The Bahamas Sand Dollar has launched as the world's first CBDC and Line is developing its own CBDC platform. Just before we dive into today's show, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And while you're at it, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Clean Tech and Climate Change podcast, as well as the Cannabis podcast, both of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so Bitcoin has continued to rise since it began rallying on Monday with a trading price of about $12,685 at the time of recording. That's according to data from CoinMarketCap. Now, this puts it above the previous 2020 peak of roughly $12,320. Also, according to data from CoinMarketCap, that was in August this year. And it makes for the highest Bitcoin trading price since about July 2019, Undoubtedly, what is driving this rally is news today that payments giant PayPal, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol PYPL, has announced the launch of a new service that allows customers to buy, hold, and sell cryptocurrencies. The service will reportedly be available starting in early 2021, whereupon PayPal customers will be able to use their cryptocurrency holdings as a funding source to pay at PayPal's 26 million merchants around the globe. PayPal president and CEO Dan Schulman explained, quote, The shift to digital forms of currencies is inevitable, bringing with it clear advantages in terms of financial inclusion and access, efficiency, speed, and resilience of the payment system, and the ability for governments to disperse funds to citizens quickly. Our global reach Digital payments expertise, two-sided network, and rigorous security and compliance controls provide us with the opportunity and the responsibility to help facilitate the understanding, redemption, and interoperability of these new instruments of exchange. We are eager to work with central banks and regulators around the world to offer our support and to meaningfully contribute to shaping the role that digital currencies will play in the future of global finance and commerce. End quote. Now, given that institutional adoption has repeatedly been cited as a key for the further spread of crypto as an alternative currency and store of value, this news should be huge. And coupled with the possible broader market volatility that could result from the upcoming U.S. presidential election, not to mention further COVID-related stimulus plans from the Fed, this could be a game-changing next several months for Bitcoin. Elsewhere, the Bahamas has made history with today's launch of the Sand Dollar. We've been covering that on the show. It is the world's first central bank digital currency, or CBDC. Now, according to its official website, the Sand Dollar was created by the Central Bank of the Bahamas to advance more inclusive access to regulated payments and other financial services for underserviced communities and socioeconomic groups as well as to reduce service delivery costs and increase transactional efficiency for financial services across the Bahamas. And speaking of CBDCs, Japanese messaging giant Line Corporation, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol LN, is developing a CBDC platform, according to a Korean outlet Chosun Ilbo, Hope I say that right. An unnamed official from the company confirmed to Chosen Ilbo that Line wants to provide CBDC platform technology to several central banks interested in CBDC. Furthermore, the company is presently discussing the application of blockchain platform technology with central banks in major Asian countries. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. 
And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music.